in the aftermath of what transpired at the gates of the National Assembly yesterday, there was a woman that got the social media buzzing and everybody were very impressed about what she did to protect our democracy. In a very short while from now, we'll be talking with Honorable um, what gave you that boldness to speak up and defend our democracy yesterday? Well, um, yesterday when I saw what was going on, I just felt that it was very, very undemocratic and provocative. Because you cannot just come to someone's house or office and say you will not allow the person entrance to their property or to where they walk. And, I, and especially when I saw them in Max, most times when people go in with their Max, is it that they are there as snipers or are they are there as um, people that want to just do a quick job and would not want their identity to be revealed to anybody. So that was what made me to react. And that it was, in fact, it was an only anger within. I said, no, enough is enough. We cannot continue in this, in this manner. The executive have continued to abuse all the democratic process. You know, so that was what poor up that in me. Okay, go ahead. Your work has inspired so many women around the world. Mm. What advice would you give, especially for Nigerian women, to join politics? Because well, there are very few like you mm. in politics in Nigeria. Well, I'll tell them that wherever they find themselves, that nothing is being handed over to people on a free, on a, on a platter of gold. That even in Sierra Leone, where they say, oh, that it's, we are out of Freetown and the rest. Nothing is, nothing is free in Freetown. You have to fight for whatever you're looking for. And as a woman, we have always, if you look at the Bible, most of the people that were frontliners, like Deborah, like Esther, like um, Naomi, they were all women that stood for what they wanted. And they went out there to get what they wanted. So, um, as the, that was good answer, um, as the 2019 general elections draw on, yeah. what would be your goodwill message to Nigerians, especially after what happened yesterday? Some are not as, you know, um, happy as, or optimistic about the elections. What would you like to tell them? Well, I would like to tell Nigerians that we just have to stand up. These are the same Nigerians that when the third tenor issue came up, they said no, that there is no way we can stand for third tenor. Nigeria, whenever there's a problem and Nigerians come together, God rises up for us. So there is no way you just stay out there telling yourself that, oh, these people will use their federal might or they will use this or they will use that. You are the might. You are the giant in yourself. If you come out to say enough is enough, that nobody can truncate the democratic process in Nigeria, then the people will be able to say, we'll go to the field. After around from River State, we went for our rerun elections. They came with everything, all the securities that they came down there with. But God prevailed. They said, when the nation cries, God will hear from heaven and fight that battle. Yesterday, it was not just, it, 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 it wasn't me. It was God with us that was fighting these people. And at the end of the day, did Nigeria prevail? We prevailed against these monsters. So, Thank sir, you. today the Senate President has already commended you for what happened yesterday, and Nigeria is willing to hear from you for a recommendation in the World Press Conference today. Well, I'll tell, I'll tell you the truth. Now, it wasn't about me. It was about Nigeria. That fighting for the democracy of Nigeria is not about Boma Gooded. There were a lot of us out there yesterday, but someone has to take the lead. So it wasn't just me. It was about Nigeria, and that was why we went that far. Thank you, and God bless you. The final uh, question: As a little girl, did you ever see yourself being in politics? No, I never did. But what brought you into politics? Well, I worked with a great leader that brought me into politics and 
I'm forever and I will forever be grateful to that great leader. <laughs>